In this video, we're going to be talking about the Harvest system. The Harvest system is a thermal battery that works with the Sonco 2 air to water heat pump or heat pump water heater, as well as an indirect fired storage tank. We'll talk about what that means and how it works. This particular product is very revolutionary in the sense that this particular heat pump uses CO2 for its refrigerant instead of a proprietary blend. It's also an air to water heat pump, which means that it can heat hot water, which means it can replace your water heater as well as your forced air heating demands. Because it uses CO2 as its refrigerant, it literally has the lowest GWP on the planet, which GWP stands for global warming potential. I don't know if I buy into the whole scale that they use as it relates to refrigerants because I've seen the numbers arbitrarily change over the years. But the bottom line is that CO2, there's no patent on it, which means that it's much cheaper to acquire than any sort of proprietary refrigerant, which I absolutely love. This system is very efficient for heating. And when I talk about the COP of this particular unit, your mind will will be absolutely blown because it's super efficient. The versatility of the system, it works in a variety of applications that we're gonna talk about in this video and more. But before we get started, if you haven't done so already, please make sure you smash that like button for the algorithm and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. We put out daily and weekly content on how you can get the best HVAC for your home. And so if you find this content helpful, please consider subscribing because it's a free way that you can show support and it is much appreciated. So first off, let's talk about this particular unit and how it works. Now, if you just watched the video, where we talked about how this system is classified as a thermal battery for the purposes of the 25D tax credit and what that actually means. Please bear with me because we're going to touch on that again briefly. But the way that the harvest system works together is that it's not just a Sonco 2 CO2 powered heat pump water heater and a air to water heat pump storage tank that functions as a hot water storage tank and a store of thermal energy, but it also stores that heat energy so that you can use it later to heat your home during peak use times and off peak times. And that's one of the most brilliant things about this system. So in a normal system, to give you some comparison, let's say we look at a traditional forced air source heat pump. When does your heat pump kind of run the most? It's going to run in the middle of night, in the morning, because that's when it's coldest, right? And so you get home from work and then the sun goes down and it starts to get colder and then your heat pump kicks on and starts heating your house. And oftentimes that's when electric rates are higher, especially if you are on a time of use plan, then your rates might be higher, let's say from 4 to 8 p.m. That's what they are at my house. And a lot of people are on similar plans that where it might fluctuate based on the time of day. That's one of the drawbacks of having a component that you need to use during peak times. And that's why a lot of people have started to install the electrochemical battery backups, meaning things like a Tesla Powerwall, where they can have a little bit of juice for use during you know peak use times. And that way they're not so reliant on the grid during those times. The reason it has the title of quote unquote harvest is because there's basically three components that we'll talk about. And one is the outdoor unit. That's the Sonco 2 heat pump water heater. It's an air to water heat pump that heats hot water and then transfers that water to a storage tank. So what happens is that storage tank is essentially like your thermal battery, but instead of storing energy, it stores heat. And so it stores that heat in the form of 150 degree potable water, meaning drinkable water. The third component is the harvest unit. And what the harvest unit is, this is the brains of the operation. So the harvest unit is a box that controls all of the hydronics flow and controls. It tells the Sonco 2 heat pump water heater when to kick on. And when this unit tells that system to run is during the middle of the day for a few reasons. Now, this is where the whole brilliance in this whole system works. From 10 to three is when this system runs to store as much heat energy as possible as it can in that storage tank. And the reason is energy rates are typically lowest from 10 to three. And if your rates are lower during other times, they'll adjust. This is all field customizable during installation, but they'll set it to run during off peak times. The other benefit to having the heat pump run from 10 to three is that that is when the heat pump runs most efficiently. So this particular heat pump has a COP that is up to 5.5, which means it's 5.5 times more efficient than let's say electric resistive heat. And so it's a very efficient heat pump. It's a very efficient air to water heat pump. It's a very efficient heat pump water heater. So it can literally serve a lot of purposes that your home needs in terms of domestic hot water, hot water for your forced air hydronics coil, which is how you heat your home. And then it stores that for off peak usage or usage during peak times when it might be more expensive to run that heat pump. So that way you're actually only running the heat pump or you're trying to mostly run your heat pump 
when it's more efficient to run it, and then you get to store that heat for use later when you need it in the middle of night, when it's coldest, when it might not be as efficient to run your heat pump. So the brilliance of the system is that it can run during off-peak hours, it's cheaper to run, it's more efficient when it's running, and it can store that for use later. I absolutely love this product already when I found out about it. But the other reasons that I love it is that there is a lot of versatility from a heating perspective that this ties into. Now, we'll talk about how this can be used. The best way is typically, let's say you had an existing forced air furnace system or a forced air source heat pump. What you could do is you could rip out that air source heat pump, you could rip out that furnace, and then instead replace it with a forced air hydronics air handler. And all that means is that you would still have a blower motor and you would still have a coil inside there except instead of having a heat exchanger like you do in a furnace where there's combustion gases flowing through that heat exchanger what you would have instead is you would have hot water from the hydronic circuit circulating through that coil and that's why it's called a forced air hydronic fan coil so basically you can use existing ductwork have a forced air hydronics fan coil put in and it works with this system but in addition it will also replace your hot water heater so you'll now have a heat pump water heater except one of the benefits of this is that compared to the standalone units like for example if you go to Home Depot right now and you bought a heat pump water heater that has a heat pump unit mounted on top of it one of the things that a lot of people will complain about is that it makes the mechanical room freezing. And the reason is, is because that heat pump is taking heat from the mechanical room and putting it into the water inside that tank. And so all the air exchange, all the heat exchange is taking place, unfortunately, inside your home, which means that it's making the room that that heat pump water heater is in very cold. Well, because this unit is all contained outside, it's a mono block system, which means that the refrigeration circuit is all outside. There's no refrigeration lines to run. All you will have is hydronics lines or plumbing lines going from the Sunco 2 heat pump water heater outside to the indoor unit to that indirect storage tank or the potable water storage tank. That means that wherever that tank is, it's going to be the same temperature as the rest of your house, or it's not going to, going to be freezing cold like it would be if you had a heat pump water heater in your mechanical room. So that's one benefit to the system. But another is that this can also, because it is heating water, this can perfectly tie into a lot of boiler applications. Now, it can't replace all boiler applications, but if you're watching this and you have radiant in-floor heating, this is a perfect system for you if you've been wanting to get a heat pump, but also keep your radiant floors. And the reason is, is because what happens is the hot water that this system produces can be circulated through radiant in-floor heating loops, which means you can get radiant in-floor heating with a heat pump. The refrigerant circuit uses CO2 instead of some proprietary refrigerant. So I mean, all around, I absolutely love this product for that reason. It's very revolutionary, it's very practical, and it really ticks a lot of the boxes. Now, there is one downside or one area where this system doesn't work well, and we'll talk about that right now. But before we do that, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please consider doing so. Again, it's a free way that you can support the channel if you find this content helpful, and it is much appreciated. And also, smash that like button for the algorithm. It is a huge help and really helps us continue to put out more videos on a regular basis that answer the questions you have about the products that you're interested in. Now the downside, and it's not so much of a downside because I'll talk about what the workaround is for this specific system, but the downside with a CO2 powered heat pump is that CO2 does not work well as a refrigerant for air conditioning, which means that these systems are focused specifically on heating. So if you're in a market where you need air conditioning as well, which is most parts of the United States, what this system needs is a supplemental system to tie in for the air conditioning side. And so what we'll will typically do in those applications is that you'll have an air source heat pump that is a backup heat pump as well as your source of air conditioning and then instead of having a harvest version of the forced air hydronics air handler they can just put a forced air hydronics coil on top of your existing system that pairs with either your heat pump or just you know air conditioner if you don't want a backup heat pump. Most people will opt for a heat pump because there are a lot of great heat pumps that work with the Harvest system. For example, Bosch is one of them that works well with this particular system. Mitsubishi makes a lot of products that work with it. But the bottom line is any non-communicating system or 24 volt system in terms of the controls and the communications, if they're 24 volt legacy wiring, then they will work well and integrate 
integrate directly with the system. But that's really the only downside is that because this system doesn't also have cooling capacity built in, you will have to have another air conditioner tied into the system or have another heat pump as your backup heat pump or heat pump to provide air conditioning in the summer. Honestly, when I look at the tax credit savings, it kind of offsets that. And if you already have that type of system anyways, this can be integrated directly with it with relatively minor modifications. So it's actually not that big of a deal. Now, one of the things we mentioned earlier is that because this system stores heat energy like a battery, that means this particular heat pump qualifies as a battery for the purposes of the 25D tax credit. And if you want to know more about that tax credit and what that means, there'll be a video popping up on the screen now that talks about how the harvest heat pump qualifies for the 25d tax credit and what that means in terms of how much you can offset your installation costs so hopefully you found this content helpful and again if you did please smash that like button and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already and check out some of the videos that are popping up on the screen right now in addition to that because this particular video is all part of a series that we're doing on the harvest product line because it is a truly revolutionary product and we are super excited to talk about this in future videos so Check those out if you haven't done so already, and we will catch you on the next episode.